So, uh, one of our beloved admins told me that the stream is not watchable and unfortunately... So, uh, so, it seems fine now. Yeah, I wish if this platform is a little bit smoother with giving better experience to the users. Uh, yesterday, I tried to watch Bill Zamorf here. He's actually joining us in the chat now. And I tried to access his vi video his stream like five times. Then I stopped everything in the computer that used the network. Start f uh, Firefox. Okay, closed it completely. And after 30 minutes, I returned. Or around 10 minutes, actually. And started over and it finally worked. Finally I could watch. So it's, to be honest, I, I know it's hard to make a streaming platform. And I believe they're giving less bandwidth to non-bro users. The experience is a little bit not that good. I know it's required funding to get a better platform. But hopefully it will get better. One of the times it screwed up that it screwed up so bad, Life Code TV. It used to be called Life Code TV. That I stopped streaming for like six months. <laughs> I was like, this is not worth it. But it's getting better. It's getting better. I'm sure it's, it will get even more better. So, what happened? I'm sorry that you missed this part. I finally found all the factors that I need to change the zoom factor. And I noticed the Y part was missing in here. This part wasn't there. So I just add it, run it. Make it bigger, close inventory. This is the normal zoom. And now we zoom out. Oh wow, we wait way outside that we cannot even see it i believe that's zoom zero i didn't put the limit for the zoom i mean it's just ridiculous do you see my character jumping i don't think you see it because i'm having a hard time to see you and zooming in and it's working fine So finally, finally, it's working. So we signed out with this or scrap this task. And we are going to go and do task two, map to location. Uh, you see, I assigned a full day to Zoom because I figured I might find issues that will screw my time. As I said, uh, Game Zanga, which is the Arabic game jam, one of the Arabic game jam, uh, it's going to start in 10 days and 9 hours. And I'm trying to prepare the game engine to be ready to make games. After 10 days, I will drink a lot of soda, sleep a lot, and do whatever, and get ready for this, uh, what do you call it, context. I'll contest for two days I will try to stream the events how I'm going to make a game on the game engine so I'm going to do things a little bit dirty like the, the music and the sound system I'll make a very basic thing for that and I have no clue how to play music and sound and so I give myself two days so in ten days five six seven eight and two days weekend yeah, I'll try to do these tasks at least. And if I have enough time, I might make a minimap and do stuff. I could even add support to multiplayers and try to make the game support multiplayers. Already, the game engine can support multiplayers. But... Didn't test it that thoroughly, to be honest. So anyway, we will try to make map teleportation. To do that, let me try to remember where did I add the areas for the map. Here you go. So we have regions in here. 
and we have layers and we have the maximum zoom and minimum which is not activated yet uh, where is um oh exits here why the maps are not loaded hmm let's see let's take a look let's take a look let's take a look So I might not be able to do that for a good reason. If I need to manipulate the map data, I cannot do it in the front of the camera. But let's take a look. Let's go to the wizard. Where are the classes? What's going on? Oh, forums, sorry. I was looking for the forums and I was like, where are they? And I noticed I put them in a folder, silly me. Anyway, wizard, where is the script wizard, which I should call it wizard. I change it, I should change its name because it's responsible on all the wizards it seems. Um, map. Map exit CB1. This thing was part of the game engine. It was, I didn't have a campaign system at that time. Uh, so I shipped the responsibilities to the campaign system, which is not complete. I need to do something dirty, something just quickly to make the system support the map exits now for uh, the contest. Unfortunately, the time is up. I need to take a break. An hour already passed while I'm trying to fix the problem. It's kind of sad to start the new video with a break in the middle. So let's give myself another 10 minutes of work. Alright. So let's figure out where this guy is safe. Map exit CP. Um... It's not programmed at all. Congratulations. Alright, whatever. Let's go to this part. Okay, first of all, let's close everything. That's not related to the work I'm, I'm trying to do. So, um, we are on tap 2 map objects oh so this is the object okay 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 yeah i don't need you get out what's this this is the region section mm. and this the update section why this section doesn't have uh yeah region uh, regions And the region close. All right. So we have the normal update when I load the map in the tab. So let me show you what I'm talking about. The blank screen. Oh yeah, this. When I load the map, what happened? It load the data for the objects layers and regions. Um, two systems that I need to develop a little more. This one is, I believe, is complete. I don't need to add anything to it. This one, it's kind of complete, but the tag, it's... I need to organize how the tags happens in the game engine. So we are working on this one now. Uh, and it doesn't even have a no name, group box 3. This is the map exits section. 
So here we are loading the region list. We need to load the, um, no, don't do that. The map exit CP, so map exit CP one selected index is equal to this and it's equal to this and it's equal to this and all of you will go to hell and I noticed that these guys are depending on the old system that the game doesn't know which map does it support so it can have any name this is not mm, valid anymore the campaign should know all the maps that is contained and the game engine should know how many campaigns is loaded so uh, we should be able to know how many maps do we have uh, and uh, the maps in the same campaign can have existed the same campaign So there's no map exists without a campaign. In other words, yeah, I'm trying to recheck my uh, facts just to make sure, just to make sure, because the campaign system is not, I didn't work on it. It's just a placeholder. It just show you how much crap I need to do. I didn't even touch the AI system. I didn't even touch the skills. How do you activate them? Neither the items. There's a lot of things I need to do. There's a lot of things I need to do. So here, we need to go through all the maps that live on the same campaign. Um, how do I know which campaign is this? So let's go to the wizard and try to figure out which campaign is this what no oh this is the crew <laughs> This is the current campaign. Okay, 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 okay. So what we need to do is to refill the suckers. So this items add same thing. All right. So now when this thing is selected should I make it by index or value? Let's make it by index. I really hate it when he add the space. Yeah, there are two guy, two type of programmers that deal with spaces and indentation. Most of them like the functions and methods look like this very very few that I met actually I met only one if I'm not mistaken at le at maximum one that preferred this way which is me I did never see <laughs> anyone no no other than me I never seen anyone who um, or at least I seen only one that do it like this uh, why all are all of these guys are open What's going on? Give me a second. He opened everything, damn it.
I need only the map section. I don't want to see any other section. Especially the dialogue. So we have the regions in here, the objects, and create game. What the hell is this? Uh, I shouldn't care about this. Uh, let's add a new region and call it map exits. To box these functions all right can you yeah thank you now let me check what the hell is this oh i believe this is the old code to change how i save the maps see that's it deals with the map exits they were saved in that game more than Oh, yeah, yeah, let's take a look. Like, let's take a look. Let's take a look. What's going on? Oh, they are saved in the map event. Okay. Okay. So this is how I load them. All right, all right, all right. The way how I move the characters between the maps, I used to use a script. And apparently I made some helper functions to do the script thing. I'm thinking not to use the script for these things. Because script is a little bit slow. Mm, even though it shouldn't that matter that much. I'm kind of trying to use the script as less as possible. So I have two solutions. I either to do a dirty work. And do it with the script uh, whatsoever because I was so happy with my interpreter and I thought it was the solution for the whole world um, so I have an interpreter here these classes and I have the expression you can say like a parser that can do math and logic operation stuff and I don't have a player class anymore it deals with stuff that doesn't exist. That's why there's a huge part of the codes that are disabled. Because it's not working anymore. I tried to fix it and everything. Um, it's kind of hard and slow to deal with it. Then later on I discover actions and fun C in C sharp. And I start using them instead of this. So anyhow, anyhow, the time is up. I need to take a break for 10 minutes. And after the 10 minutes, we will try to revive the map exits. We are going to use a script this time, but hopefully when, after the contest, I will, yeah, remove this part and try to do it in an easier way. See you in 10 minutes.
So we are back. Two minutes left. Man, I need to upload two videos this time to YouTube. I call them Bart 5A and Bart 5B. It's 3 p.m. already. No wonder I'm hungry. At least I have sold it. This is my third can. And it's dice soda. It's not soda. Oh well. I need to drink like a liter of water or something to clean up all this crap that I'm putting in my body. So let's take a look on the code in here. Let's start working already. Oh, it's almost that time as well. So we need this code in a way or another to load the map exits. And this code seems funny. I'm not sure why. And this is for loading the mini zoom. So Where's the update? The main update. Here. So. We might not need this. Because. This code should be. In a state then. Second, I um, what's going on? This is the map baths. Mm. Excuse me. current game I don't have my baths anymore hmm. I need to explore a little bit that's what happened when you have changed the way how things run many times in a row This is start to become a little bit annoying. Uh, campaign dictionary. Let's go and see how the campaign fare. Campaign.
Jesus Christ. Uh, and I don't have map bath either in here. So, yeah, I change a lot of stuff. Congratulations. And I need to figure out how to do it in a better way. The sad part is the game engine is not running on the campaign yet. So if I go to to the game core file, close everything and take a look. Oops. Here. Map AR. But it doesn't have map bath either. Mm. Yeah, I need to figure out what's going on. I need to figure out what's going on. We don't have my bear in here at all. It's totally different. It's totally different. This is annoying. Uh, because after everything is loaded by the campaign, we should track all the maps in one dictionary. That was my plan. That was my plan. So we can make the campaign work as a DLC extension to the current uh, campaign to make the characters move between the two, but oh well, oh well, so um, yeah, I'm afraid things will behave in a different way. So this is the old way, and the old ways are dead. At least I can move the zoom, hopefully. And we don't have all this fiasco, and instead we have something called target map. So for the newcomers, welcome, welcome, we are trying to add teleportation to the map something that i have been it was working long time ago but thanks for all the changes that i'm doing through these years it's kind of need a lot of work to make it work so this is the first prototype i ever had and actually it was made in 2010 2010 11 in between and it has map teleportation so we are trying to do something like that. Unfortunately, this thing is completely hard coded, everything. There is no data driven whatsoever. This is really old, really ob obsolete. Everything is different in here. It's game engine, the number one, the first one. We are working on Game Lover 3 actually. So you can only imagine how many changes happens so we are trying to load and save map exits and this is an old code to manage the map exits when the maps used to live in the game file and i'm trying to to scavenge some code from here if they are useful so the only thing useful i can see is loading the map from the map event all right so let's try to do that at least all right so the target map Don't tell me I changed the event. Um, nah. oh. oh. 
Give me a second. And what the max map exit helper do? It best words for some reason. And take okay, 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 okay. What's going on? And I noticed we could f make this code a little bit better by making um, some changes. Or actually, don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Don't be greedy. Alright. Actually, I can take this. Nah. Now, why you're not happy? This is a selected index, and this return a string. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's change it into text. And I don't think the current map have any event. We don't even have... Other maps to test this. So this is the loading. We need to make the saving. Unfortunately... We don't have saving. So what we will do, what we will do is I don't remember how the event is saved, damn it. It's equal to something which is related to map CB text. But there, there is a code to make the event correct. Uh, I wonder if it exists in here. Let me check. So this is the helper. Helper. Nope. Um, let me go to create game. And check if that part of the code is... Um, Committed. Let me check if I removed it or not. So let me close some of the stuff. Because this sucker have opened everything for some reason. Okay, where are we? It goes matrix. Yeah, create game. I can make it open actually. Um, But not all the regions for the God's sake. You know what? I changed my mind, screw you. Uh, edit, update, find, tab master, uh, game file, yeah, it is in the game file bar, no, it's not. Uh, view tab, no, not you. View option, tracker, export and import, uh, sprite, maps, oh, deleted. The whole thing is deleted, damn it. It's not committed. So, I need to figure out the script. Do you believe that? <sighs> alright, alright. The script shouldn't be that hard. Let me see. 
No, it is that hard, dang it. Oh, uh, script. I should have an example for the map. I don't believe this crap. Creating maps. Creating players. Wait, how can you move characters? And you don't have a player class at all now. Creating a timer, a thread. That's it. Ah, there you go. Mav move. Mav move to your name from map to map position. Screw this shit. Screw this shit. Uh, let's try to do it without using script. Screw this shit completely. You know what? Screw the whole thing. Let's start over from zero. First of all, you're in the wrong project. Map class. Map class. Let's take a look on the functions of the map class. Setting the background, adding a creature, adding a weapon, item, bag, remove. Setting the camera. Something is missing. Moving should be here. Moving uh, stuff. Where's the code? It's not there anymore. It's not there anymore. Beside. This is uh, the map in in the map simulator. You don't need to move them from here. Actually, that doesn't make sense. So let's check the map class in the game engine. Just to show you how much love I need to put to make this project or to give, get the energy to work on this project because... <sighs> calm down, calm down. Get the map name, content load, add active map. Yeah, I can set map active and not active to make the AI later on and NBCs and stuff uh, behave in there or not. In other words, the update will go and update the thing here. Move objects and players. Ta -da! I need to replace these old codes that's more than seven years old. All around. So I can move objects to other maps. Move players and stuff like that. Do I really need to do this? Yes, I really need to do this. <sighs> All right. Before I do that, let's try. Let's try to save the map names at least. For now, for now, let's save in the event only the name of the map. Where are we? Even though this is not so what how it's supposed to be. Oh shit. What have I done? Come on.
So what we are going to do is to do this. And in the loading, yeah, let's remove the helper. Because I'm not going to use the script anymore to move the creatures and the objects. I'm going to get rid of the, the script as much as I could. I mean, look at me, taking more than 10 minutes to decide that. Well, I tried to salvage the code as much as possible, but it seems it wasn't that easy. Now, let's add four new maps. And have some fun. So let's load the game. Let's load the campaign and add map. Uh, let's call it D1. And it is 15. Let's make them small 25 by 25. And we got to our first crash. Only God knows what the fuck is he talking about. What is this? Really? First of all, what is this? Is it a dictionary? Is it a fucked up? Is it? Uh, it's a dictionary string and a point. Why does it have the same name? Don't tell me this map used to be called this map. Okay, auto test one. Let's add a new map and call it A1. Hmm. So I already have A1. So apparently we have a little bit of screwed up. If we already have, do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Screw you. Now if I load a map, it will screw up. I'm telling you. Oh. Yeah, I changed a lot of crap. Uh, the, the management of the files wasn't like this at all. Alright, so we have a small screwed up. We have a small screwed up, no problem. So let's try to behave or imagine if we were normal users for the god's sake for the first time in the world and add few maps and i will remove walker from here and add it in t1 uh, before we add it in T1, let's try to figure out where is the maximum. Fuck you, dude. You're killing me. Uh, 
uh, I zoomed out and I tried to add blocks and that's what happened by the way and let's fix this error so if I load the game load the map try to add tails outside of the map which I'm not sure how big it is it seems it's a little bit big so it is 200 oh so the problem happened even without the zoom an easy fix can be done I don't believe this. I thought I fixed all these issues before. I mean, this is a very fucking old issue. Can I get out of running mode? Thank you. If the fucking X is greater than the map locks. Um, what is this? It's a double shy. So get lymph zero. Or Y is greater than map blocks get length one then fucking return. Thank you. Load the game file, load the com the, the campaign and the map call it T1 oh fucking A fucking A what now objects layer CV update Mapless selected negative one. Ain't I CC How did the hell this happen? For some freaking reason. I believe the campaign wasn't loaded or something. Uh, give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. This is starting to make me wanna cry or something. You know what, fuck you, I don't care. Uh, how did that happen? Can I make a new map? No, I can't. This one is loaded. New map. <sighs> yeah, that's what happens when you do a lot of changes without making a throw test on everything. Alright. The funny part is, this, this error didn't happen before when I made four maps, before I fixed the, the thing. The given key was not present in the dictionary. Okay, calm down. This is the first step. And try to figure out how the f All right. So the campaign exist but hmm is it because I didn't load the map I believe yes that's the problem so let's take a look 
when I load this and load this then add a new map I see so when I load the campaign I wanted not to load all the maps in the memory imagine if you have a campaign and then test 100,000 maps do you want the editor to open all of them and load them on the memory to adjust one map one block no this is unreasonable but when it came here it tried to access all the maps for some reason so um, give me a second I might need to change this code uh, map AR Mapless text. So let's do that taboo again and add a new map and call it T1. So the selected one is test. Why? Alright, 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 alright. What we are going to do, this get cold, right? And objects updated in here, from here. Ah, I see. Okay. And this is part of the issue because none of them were selected. And this is add map. Uh, instead of this, we need to select the map of the name of the one we just created. So what we are going to do, map list. Oh, why? Because I forgot the fucking S. Find. Can this happen, please? Nope. I should register every every error I fix like this, but I'm I'm not recording everything I'm doing today, am I? So the map list Give me a second Actually there is an even an easier way to do it um, To select the last one because we are adding the last one So it has test and T1, and the map name is T1. Why the fuck didn't you return the first one? Oh, it is selected one, okay. Okay. Now it worked, but before, a few seconds ago, it crashed. I mean, what? Now it's working fine, even though I didn't change any code. Is there a lag in the function 
Find string goes to okay. <sighs> All right. All right. At least it's working. Now let's try to work as if we were users. T1, T2, T3, T4. Let's save them. Let's close. Let's run. Let's check the folder. I was face bombing my face bombing. Face bomb, I don't know. Face bomb myself. Nope, it didn't save them. I'm glad I'm doing some testing because I could finish all the maps, close the thing. The bloody thing, and all of a sudden, oh, you didn't save anything, did you? Save campaign, save all maps. This is the wrong folder, silly you. This is the wrong fucking folder. Alright. Then. Alright, and we have some maps that not including in... Alright, save campaign. I don't think I can unload the campaign, unless if I have another one. Thanks God, alright. Now let's try to add something outside of the map. Let's use the keyboard. What the hell? Is that it? Okay, that's it. So this is 25. And it doesn't want to add things outside. Thanks God. Nope. It crashed here. Oh, I forgot to put greater or equal. We are fixing them one by one, one by one. Oh wow, now the zoom is crashing. Oh wait, no, it didn't crash, okay. For some reason, did it? No, it didn't. Then why I cannot place anything? No, it did crash. What just fucking happened? Can I have a normal day in here, please? <sighs> the active map is nothing. Why? The given key was not present in the dictionary. And 
don't, 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 don't ask me. I have no clue why the first time it's not loaded correctly. Oh yeah, the given key was not represented in the dictionary. I will start to lose my patience really soon. What's going on? Okay. Um, where is that code in the first place? Um, in the form. Let's close the guys that we are not dealing with anymore. Um, all right. Select index change. I wonder if I should make select value change. Do you know what's good? Uh, no, you don't want to do that. Do you want to do that? I'm thinking every time I uh, make select value change, because I believe that's the issue, I make um, a call to the select index change. Because I believe Nope. It will crash if I add something. Oh, th this is an old error. I believe what happened is, is it's, I loaded the map without selecting it. That's what I believe what happened. But it seems it's impossible. Nope. It's the same error. But it's working now. Yeah, it's really hard to detect what's the issue if the problem happened half of the time. It's just crazy. See? I mean, I'm not dealing with threads, I'm not dealing with fucking networks, and yet it's, it's getting on my nerve, it's getting on my nerve. I don't know. Can I test if I can add things outside the map already? At least that issue is fixed. Okay. Let's delete this guy and make four maps. And let's save this one. Let's load it again. No creature. Creature. Alright. Mm. Uh, let's have a road at Y19. Ah, delete, 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 delete. View, check it, period. And this road is both solid. That's it? Wow, that's a very small road. Uh, this is Y20, right? Alright and let's zoom add walker and call him w1 on the floor remove the floor and let's give him a weapon on the floor again and let's put some money uh, 
and let's put a background and on the second map uh, 20 we add floor And we add another gun. Let's add a background. The same one. Floor. Money. Maybe, maybe a map. Um, map. A mid back. And you can fall and go to map three. Script uh, background. And this time we have space. We can print actually var um, partial uh, background. And this time. Um, the floor will go at tw uh, 10 let's make it 7 okay and here So the exit should be on the left. And because there's an edge in here. Oh wait, this is map four. This is the first one. This is the second one. When you fall, you go to four. Damn it. Okay, okay, okay. So on two. And on three, we will go down. Uh, I mean left. So uh, there is a wall in here. That's look like this. At Y15. Okay, and let's add a map. Um, let's change its position. Uh, let's make it um, start at Y fifteen. I said, yeah, Y fifteen. So let's make it uh, the Y on 14. I didn't save. Uh, I guess I cannot change it, can I? 14. It's 
kind of silly, not large enough. So let's add another one that started at 14 and 15. Okay. Um, there is a grass ground on the bottom that if I can detect it. this and I want to add something that uh, make us capable of going to the first map so let's try to do that let me save all the maps before I lose my let's add another one and I want to move it up. How can I move it up? Don't tell me I didn't add a mechanic to... To change the order. Oh man. I'm afraid I cannot make a background goes back without changing the file manually i don't see any mechanics to change the order unless if i made the keyboard change the order no i remember i made something to change the order maybe for the characters layer not to this guy no problem no problem so the background yeah our lazy bastard just delete them just delete them just delete them. Background. This is zero. Alright. Oh, what have I done? This one should be on the top. Don't tell me it's based on when we you're clicked on. Maybe. I have no clue why it's behaving like this. Now if we view the front ground, it will cover everything. Silly you, I forgot. It's normal in here, but when I click on OK, oh. All right, I'll take the win whenever you can. I want to add a way, as I said, to go up there. So let's try to do that. And thanks for the stupid background color that I selected. I cannot tell what the hell is going on. So this is kind in the middle, kind of, save all, alright, so T1 is connected to T2, 
on the right and T3 on below. And T2 is connected with T4 below and T1 on the left. So uh, pray it won't crash as usual. It didn't show the unloaded map. Okay. So T1 is connected on the east with T2 and the south with T3. Figured. Close. <sighs> Load the game, load the map, let's load all of them, load the background, no fuck you, load the script, go to the map, load map 1, and the event is, what the hell, 3 and 4. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saved it at 3 and 4, yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, wait, why do I need this condition? I could just remove it. Because if it's empty, then it's empty, screw you. Maybe I should do selected index, but let's take a look. All right, from down T3, from east T2. It didn't load them, why? Alright, maybe I need to, um, yeah. All right, 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 all right. Uh, if it is empty, it doesn't select the um, nothing. So what we're going to do, either to zero them or make a condition. Um, zero them will make it will be selected and x is equal to, this will be easier. Then making four conditions. T one, T two. And T2 in the south is T4, and on the west is T1. T3 uh, up is T1. Oh, screw you, dude. Screw you, dude. Oh. I thought it crashed. And on the right or east is T4, and T4 north is T2. And west is mm, T3. All 
All right. Wait. Uh, one of them wasn't saved. D4 is north is D2. And D3, the north is D1. Wait. Uh, we are not loading T1 in the correct way. What's going on? What the hell is going on? D4 North D2 Are you screwing with me again? Yeah, he is. Something funny is going on. Something funny is going on. Time is up, but I will try to figure this out at least. So this is a pointer. Oh, because it didn't save the data in the maps yet, did it? Let me think, let me think, let me think. Well, we changed them. No? Something is funny going on. Mm. Is it because I'm changing the text only? I guess so. Changing the text alone doesn't mean it changed the index. Um. No, something is funny going on. Okay. One. So let me select the same one. And this is T1. And it's still T1. But let me read the event from it. Uh, da -da 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 -da. It still holds 1, 2, 3, 4. 
now we made the indexes all of them equal to negative one so this one is text empty but now it's empty why isn't the t hmm. This made this happen. So we found the issue. Let's try to solve it and let's think a little bit. Yeah, figured, 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 figured. So, what we are going to do. We are going to make the text. We cannot make the text empty. Uh, but we can reselect him. So. If this thing is empty. then map exit selected index is negative one else we do this should i make it else no it's cool else let's just uh, And because this one is deselected, uh, it will assign a value to empty here, which is whatever. So let's assign the values, save them and load them. Make sure that they resist. Then try to use the data to make the teleportation. And T1, Walker should exist just for the fun of it let's add some beholders here and uh, here and maybe here now let's go to the script I thought it was it, it crashed for a second. On the south is T3, on the east is T2, which is correct. I now remember I saved it. On the west is T1, on the south is T4, on the north is T1, on the west is T4. Uh, T4 should be T3, but anyway. No problem. On the north is T2 and on the west T3. Save all of them. Save all of them again. Close the sucker. Open the sucker. Open the game. Load uh, the thing. There you go. Next, we are going to move the maps and try to make the teleportation work. But that after the break.
and I'm back from my short walk. To be honest, I'm tired, and I don't think we. Um, I I don't think I'm productive like this. I know, I know, I know. It's you to help, but keep saying that. I was planning to stop working at twelve, uh, four hours ago, but um, I kept telling myself, no, I need to do work. And actually, it's good progress. This next part is next. Next part is not going to be easy. As I said, I, I will try to do uh, some dirty work. So I guess I will sacrifice some um, efficiency. Before each character has an event, he arrives, but it's used my script system. And that event happens only when one of the characters um, try to leave the map from the edge. And I'm not sure how to do it now without using the script. Because I shouldn't check that every time the code works. I see you guys leaving and returning to the chat from time to time. I wonder if, if the stupid thing... Um, is working or not the the platform i mean uh, does it do you refresh the page or something to make the stream working does the stream stop from time to time so as i said i'm not sure where to start uh first of all i'm going to my old script and take a look on the object modifier Was it a map modifier? Or was it a creature modifier? So this code will change the X and the Y move all right so this is a code Yeah, I, I guess anything I do in life will be much faster than this. This is horribly slow. So here you go, Mav move.
player move. So it's called a player move based on the controller. Yeah, and um, the player doesn't know which controller does he have. The controller represents the real player that's holding the controller. So it is a player move function at the end. So let's go to the map class. And this function, which I was looking at. And creature name map from map to but how does the thing trigger um, we don't have a player class anymore so I cannot tell how do I how did I use the events to do that All right, all right, all right, all right. Actually, we don't even have a way to tell if I'm moving or not. It moves by the tag, so if I go here, this is what's make the character moves, the move tags. Oh, it used set X and set Y, okay. So let's go to the obvious function that we need to check. Set X and set Y. I should organize the order of this shit. Dictionary first, list after them, then normal variables. Let me guess. I see. So I'm still using this. This is a, an ancient thing. I started using this in 2008 or something. Before this whole project uh, has been started. Just Okay, okay. Give me a second. Uh, map article. Do I need the current map? Yeah, I need. I I know the name. Okay. Here we can check if the character is trying to move outside of the map or not. Let's give it a try. So here, and set X and Y. If X greater
just in case. Actually, let's make it even like this. So, if x is greater or equal to get map set map x size or x let's make this condition before if x is less or equal than zero no wait 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 yeah, well, yeah, well, why not? Then... The thing is, this is about to... Yeah, even dealer. Hmm, eh. How can I tell which one is holding this particle? Well, we can cast it. We can cast it. We can cast it. So uh, move E object this Yeah, whatever. So let's m make this function. And let's cast this as... We don't need to cast it. It's already an event dealer. Or event object. We could use the event object to know everything about the event because in a creature, for example, if we use get event, don't tell me I removed this from here. Oh, this is a headache. This start to become annoying. Yeah, for some reason I removed it from here. But no problem, no problem, no problem. I use it for casting uh, purposes. Wrong class. I was like, what the heck? So here, let's make a new function, public void. There are two choices, either to implement this again on the event objects, which I should. Or we would try to not use it. So I should, um, take event object in here and let's call it target event dealer creature object event dealer give me a second Um, uh, 
Alright. Now, what are these? Uh, type. As I said, this can be used for uh, casting. ID, which is not the C name, but the ID itself. Uh, number, we don't use this in here. And C map. So I could make creature in here. All right. Why is he crying? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, in the menu, not the menu. Fuck the menu. In the map class. Uh, now we have this guy. And we can cast it. Um, even though I shouldn't cast it. Let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. If I don't cast it, then how can I move it? Yeah, I fear I might need to cast it. So let me do creature object. Uh, target creature. And if target get type is equal to creature object. Um, I was dealing with this type of okay okay because this is an innocent not the type okay okay or oh, it's a class not the type I mean then t creature is equal to um creature object of this Use of unsigned local variable. Cannot convert event object to. Hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Let's send the particle then. If we are sending the particle. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. We screwed up a little bit. Can I close the menu component? This confuses me every time. And the bags and the inventory. Thank you. Mm, the control, I might return to it. Okay, 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 okay. So maybe I don't need to use all of this. Well, if I need to move objects and stuff, I need to know what the heck is this. So no problem. Wait. And now we can check the uh, positions of them as well. So you see, we are doing this with this. We can do it with the other two. So if y is less than zero, And we need to do the same condition, I fear, uh, to know the position. I wish if there's a mathematical way to do it. Is there? Even if there's a mathematical way to do it. Yeah, yeah, let's take it as a challenge. Is there a mathematical way to take these four values? and turn it into a direction if we have event one two three four as up right down left yeah i like ch challenges like these and if you know me you'll see me that i always deal with crap like that 
So we have four directions. And I consider this as one, two, three, four. Sometimes I consider this zero, one, two, three. And we have if x is less than zero, then it is four. If x is greater than size width, then it is two. If y is less than one, then it is less than zero. Then it is one, zero, or height. Then it is three. Yeah, I noticed that Y is not related if this gets fired and X is not related when this is fired. So I cannot have two cases. I cannot have X is less than zero and Y less than zero. One of them must trigger, then the other get ignored. So I fear no, no, no. Let's do it as a condition. So here, int event num and uh, string. map to event number is equal to um if target uh, set x is less than zero let's say we call the zero then event number is equal to uh, four else if yeah I'm afraid I'm going to do this Okay. Okay. So the map to is equal to this thing get event. the event number all right one thing left 
we need to know where the character was. And we already made some calculation. Um, let's add two variables. Let's call it uh, x2, y2. I know, I know, weird names. So, if we are teleporting on the left or the right, then y should be fixed. So, in these cases, In the x cases, the y2 is equal to the map to, oh shit, the map to is decided later. I know, I know. Um, the Y2 is equal to game core. target but uh, keep that out keep this one we will use it soon if I'm going to the left then this should be target set Y the X is X2 let's add the X first Oh my god, he's... What's... <sighs> Happy now? The x2 is equal to uh, set x size. No, ah, set map x size. And I said, but this one first, please. Uh, if I go to the left, then x2 is equal to zero. And this is a problem because so it's equal to one if so he doesn't cry before I kill him and why is it still the same in this case X is the same of the target But Y, when the Y is less than zero, then Y2 is equal to one if. If greater, then he's falling. So, wait. This one is one. This one is this one.
Now we need to move the creature with these variables. And remove him from this map too. Um, so let's add him first, then remove him from here. Creature dictionary add T creature ID. I'm going to kill someone. Sit ID ID. Happy now? <sighs> the creature clone. Oh god. Cannot I clone? Someone need to die. Someone need to die. Someone need to die. Someone need to die. Um, fears there's no clone in here. Hmm, there's no clone, and even if I do clone, a lot of data are not going to be moved because I don't save everything that the creature have yet so how can you going to do it didn't you say That you're going to use a reference for movable characters. Am I stuck here? I believe I'm stuck here. Because I was thinking to make characters that have campaign. And you can access a profile. They live actually in the campaign class. And I'm going to use only a pointer to the creature in the dictionary. That was the idea. So I shouldn't clone them in the first place. The things that move from maps to others. Because it won't be easy to clone this behemoth. Uh, no. Won't be. I'm stuck. Congratulations. Unfortunately, I will end the stream in here instead of staring at the screen for 30 minutes. I need to sleep over this problem and think about it. Uh, well, nope, I can't solve it like this. I'm fucking stuck. If it was an object, moving it would be much easier. But this thing have a heart. It has things that I cannot move that easily. The control and the update won't allow it. Unless if I can make a, a deep clone, which won't be easy to do. 
and I don't have the heart to do it. And as I said, the campaign. If I make a campaign, I shouldn't make the clones with uh, the main character. I need to use a pointer. Screw me, screw this, screw everything. So, thank you for watching. See you next time.